Hey everyone, we're back. I have to apologize for the long delay. I was hoping to get to this a while ago, but you know, life kind of got in the way and then I was gonna record this video last night and it just so happens that the newest version of SIL was released, SIL 1.1, and I couldn't resist myself, so I went and burned through a whole bunch of 1.1 uh, of characters and neglected this one. So here we are, right about to dump ourselves into the throne room. And I've been vague about how this works before, but basically the goal of, of the throne room is to get in there, knock Morgoth's crown off his head, there's a bunch of ways to do it, we're just going to shoot it off, and then pry some Silmarils out. It's not the goal to kill him. Um, I'm going to try, I think, to, to give him a run for his money. I don't often uh, kill Morgoth. I've never really managed to kill him on a game where I was playing for real. Sometimes I play games where I'm like, you know, I've only got an hour here and there to play, so I give myself three lives, and if I die three times, then I'm over. But I'll never post those characters to the ladder or anything. But this one's for real, so let's see what happens anyway. Um, and I guess I'll explain things as we go along as well. But for starters, we should use some of this experience we've got. So I think one of the skills I wanted, yeah, it was concentration which means I need focus attack. Oh, I haven't taken any perception abilities. Wow, it's pretty impressive. Listen would be really useful too. Uh, listen lets you kind of detect where monsters are around you. But for now, let's take focus attack and concentration. The reason why I want these is because, uh, well, focus attack I don't care too much about. Concentration though, the more you hit an enemy, the same enemy, um, the more of a, a bonus you'll get to attacking it. And Morgoth takes a while to, to shoot down, so that's helpful there. And then what do the rest of my stats look like? Stealth is decent. Evasion is awful, but let's just pretend we're not going to get hit. Archery could stand some investment. Song I won't use. Melee I don't care about. Okay, so... Oh, perception would help too, because there's so many traps and stuff in the throne room. And I guess will wouldn't hurt either. So let's let's get archery up to like what happens if I go to three? I'm out of experience. Okay, I'm going to try and get by on 22 stealth. Hopefully this isn't suicide. So far I've been doing okay. And I guess, I mean, this will investment is not going to save our lives, but it's not going to kill us either. Uh, cool. Alright, I'm going to stick with this. That's it. I hope I didn't have any archery skills I still wanted to take. Nope. Okay, and then in terms of what we're wearing, yeah, I'll probably want the extra light for now. Can I wield? Yeah, okay, good. I just want to make sure I had enough room to wield uh, my glaive and take my shield off, because that's... I don't want to drop my shield in the middle of this fight. So let's grab my spear again, grab the shield. Actually, you know what I could have taken was charge. Oh, but then I would have had to. Okay, enough wool gathering. I hope you guys are ready. Um, here we go, I guess. This is an up staircase, right? Yeah, so in this case, even though it's an up staircase because our minimum depth is 1,000, when we go up the staircase, we're gonna get lost and end up in Morgoth's throne room. So let's run. This is kind of cool, you get a little rhyme here. Okay, so here we are. The, the game just told us that Morgoth's servants are, are waiting around for him to give judgment. So this strange tension in the air thing, what it means is that unless you do something that will cause an enemy to raise a cry, like if they shout, or I think even if you attack someone, um, or if you step on a trap that makes noise or something, or makes something scream, then the tension's broken and everybody comes to attack you. But for now, I can actually walk around and everybody will just stand still. I think monsters will still walk, but even if they become wary, like if they see me, 
um, I'm pretty sure they won't attack. So I don't remember exactly how this works, but because of a, I often play stealth characters down here, they don't see me anyways. And what's my strength for? Oh, I wanted that ring of strength, I think. For rapid attack. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so let's get... Let's turn the dexterity off. Oh, I just got a whole bunch of experience for coming down here, too, so let's get some more stealth. Okay. Let's use the stuff for Revelation so you guys can take a look. So I, I don't really use Revelations down here anymore because I know what the place looks like. But it's not very big, and it's chock full of monsters. So if you... Morgoth's sitting here, basically, on this crown. Uh, throne, I mean. And there are uniques all over the place. So there tend to be uniques, like, down here and around here. And then this is kind of like a secret side passage where things are pretty safe. And you can actually sneak up on Morgoth through this, like, crazy secret passageway area. That's how I like to do things. Uh, it tends to be pretty safe because there aren't a lot of monsters back here that you will run into if you try to retreat, at least in my experience. Whereas walking through here is tough because there's a lot of uniques with high perception. And walking through the main hall in my experience is suicide because at that point if you wake up one monster, they all wake up and then they keep screaming at each other and they never go back and let you vanish again. So for a stealth character that's just no fun. So let's go on a little tour for now. I'm going to move real slowly here. The good thing is if you bump into a monster uh, when the tension is on, the game actually says, like, are you sure you want to do this, you idiot? Because uh, well, nobody wants to commit suicide here, so. Oh, that's pretty good ring accuracy. Portion of grace, I could use that. I think this is probably Ungoliant. This crazy darkness that's below me here. I'm sure, I'll get that. Whatever. Okay, I don't really want to go any farther into here. Um, there's some spider called Ungoliant that's just crazy powerful. And she casts a, a ton of darkness. So that's probably her. Sure, why not? Okay. I'm going to get out of here because I don't like this place. But that's the, the side hall. So you can come out here if you want. And there's some treasures down here and stuff. I think these little holes too, you can either look for secret doors or tunnel your way in. But I don't want to do that just now. Okay, what's this cloak that I just found? Oh, the Cloak of Thingol. That's cool. Provides resist to cold fire, grants you free action. Hmm. There's a ton of artifacts down here, usually, too. I guess I don't need my leather armor anywhere. Um, yeah, I'll hang on to that. Really, it's the free action I care about, but I have the short sword of Amrod, too, so... And you know what? Yeah, no, that's good. Oh, I thought that was just a vampire. It's the ring with all again. Her I could totally kill, but I'm not convinced I could kill her in two shots. So basically, if you kill something in one turn down here, the tension stays. It's if the monster survives and screams or something that you break the tension. So this is my... I like this area here. There's a bunch of Easterling spies down here uh, in this little room who are designed to like just wake up and scream. But that's not such a big deal. Yeah, they're there. Hey guys. So this little secret area here. This is where having higher perception really helps. Because otherwise I'd have to smash these things open and that wakes people up. Hmm. 
I kind of half wish I'd take an eye for detail. But what are you going to do? Okay, we're safe. Oh, cool, we got piercing arrows here. I'm not sure if piercing arrows have their uh, their effect stack with Song of Sharpness, but we're trying. These things, uh, I don't know why they do this, but if you, the chests are all in these like little small rooms, and I think that if you open them, you'll lose items because they they need space to fall, and there's no space around them. So I like to bring them out into the hall if I can. I don't know if I'll be able to open this chest. Avenger Greatsword, that's not useful. We've got lots of experience down here too. Oh, I'm still full. Hmm. I think I wanted to burn off some turns in case I needed to quaff potions. Oh well. And this web is gonna make my life not fun. Because there's no way to get rid of it. What is this thing? An ancient spider. Protection 1d4. Okay. So that's weird. I think the first monster you attack in general, like, doesn't matter if it has a mouth or not, it's going to scream, which is kind of weird, but. Oh, I don't want to shoot those. Okay, good. So now I don't know if everything's awake. I don't think it is. But that's fine. So that's it. We mean business now. Um, so this is the most irritatingly positioned monster in the entire game. If this thing wasn't here, I would be so happy. Uh, they're so damn hard to kill. They have no health, but... Whoa! I don't know where it's gonna flee to. Come on, you can do it. Now, the reason why I don't wanna smash open any of these doors is then this thing will wake up and Morgoth will just... So trappy. Okay, I want to clear a path this way. I think we're pretty safe all the way up here. Okay, here we are. I don't know why Morgoth's way the hell up there, but that actually is to my advantage. Um, and you can see there are quite a few monsters down and around here. Now, the most dangerous thing about this whole shtick, Morgoth is clearly dangerous, but he he can't hit you from very far. So he has uh, this earthquake attack that he can smash the ground with. That hurts and stuff, but it's not really that big a deal. But the, pr the problem is everything else around him, because you don't... I guess they had to make him a certain level of difficulty 
that isn't impossible because you have to be able to knock the crown off him even if you're not going to have a fighting chance at hurting him. So it's not that dangerous to get up close to him. The problem is though that everything else around him. Uh, somewhere hiding in the shadows is probably this guy called Gorthar who is the other version of Sauron. He's a, a werewolf. And he's crazy fast and he paralyzes. He's just crazy. If Every time he comes up to me, he kills me. So he's actually more dangerous in my opinion than Morgoth, which is kind of a neat... I thought that was a neat juxtaposition. Um, So I'm almost hesitant to fight him at this range, but I have so much time to run back here that I should be good. I just won't see him coming, that's the only thing. So maybe I'll poke around to see if he's out here. I don't see him. I'm nervous to, to check out the left. And I really don't want Morgoth to move, so I'm gonna target him. And now would be a good time to start buffing, so... What do I want to wear in this fight? Oh, I guess a, a description of Morgoth would be pretty cool, too. It's pretty cool. He rages with everlasting anger. He seeks forever to dominate all that is light and good in the world. He's the origin of man's fear of darkness. That's my favorite part. And he created many foul creatures, yada, yada, yada. Oh, I don't know he radiates light. I guess he's a god. That's one of the things they do. Uh, you may notice, if you've played other Angband games, Angband, uh, Morgoth's usually a P, I think, for, like, badass mother or something. But he's V here for Valar. Um, and I have yet more experience. Let's get some more archery. Okay. The other thing is, if I start shooting him here, he's going to drop his crown right in the middle of all that havoc. But you know what? It's enough talk. Let's... I'm going to... Oh yeah, and I have to turn on uh, these two things. I can't remember, does he resist fire or anything? I don't think he resists anything, which is kind of crazy. All right, singing sharpness, buffed up the gills. Taking a strength potion here wouldn't really help worth anything. Alright, so his crown came off. So far, so good. Oh man. So you can see as uh, as my concentration bonus kicks in, I think it's kicking in. Although this confuses me because it never shows on the combat rolls. Or does it? Yeah, so now everybody's awake. I'm going to keep taking shots until something threatens me here. See, I wonder if concentration doesn't work here because, um, because their piercing arrows are hitting other guys. I'm really hoping to kill Morgoth before one of these guys starts breathing down my neck. Because we're getting close. Oh, 
Oh, that was a good shot. Yeah, yeah. Concentration is totally working now. It might almost be worth not using piercing arrows if that's what was causing the problem. Okay, so we just killed Morgoth. Uh, that may have been kind of anticlimactic. It's not this easy usually. We archers are a little bit out of hand, I think, in this fight. But see, it's so hard to do that the creators of the game even considered it a bug to beat him. We basically screwed up the fabric of time and space by doing that. But um, it tells you to post a bug report. But uh, like, uh, infinity people have killed Morgoth now, so. It's not, I think it's deniably impressive now. Oh, we get a little rhyme too, I forgot about this. Yeah, so now I gotta get the shit out of here, basically. So we have all of Trolldom breathing down our neck at this point. Um, Gothmog is probably in this darkness somewhere. I'm hoping this patch of dark here is not ungoliant, but in any case, I'm faster than all of them, so I don't really give a rat's ass. Um, Morgoth's crown fell there, so we're gonna need to figure out a way to get to that, because... Like, that's the point of the game, is to go grab this thing. So I don't... That's probably going to involve killing everything in the hall. This could be interesting. But for now, it's GTFO. Yeah, I could totally use those. Uh, let's turn off rapid uh, flaming arrows for now. It's always fun to, to kill Morgoth and then be killed by like a spider or something. It's embarrassing, but it's very possible. Oh, that's, oh wow. I thought that was a Sulroko. That is Lindorthan. I'm gonna run from him. Sorry, buddy. What kind of defiance? Interesting. Okay. And these, I like like fighting some of these guys here because you know it's been a while since I signed a champion. Okay, remember what I told you about not going into the main hall? Uh, I meant it, but I don't see how we're gonna get around it. Who's that? It's an adamant serpent. Yeah, see, this is bad. It is nice if you can get the serpent to do some of the work for you by, like, breathing fire on everybody. Now we can come back around here, now that everybody's gone up top, so let's go see how this works. Oh, that stop awarding would have been handy before. Okay, I think this thing weighs like, yeah, it's way too heavy. Okay, before I start doing this, Okay, 
So, there's a few things here. This crown, you basically have to attack it by hitting the K key, and it's just a normal combat roll. It gets zero evasion, but it has really high protection, and you just have to do damage, I think, in order to, to get the Silmaril out. But for with each subsequent Silmaril you pull out, things get harder for you. So the first Silmaril, you get it, it's fine. The second Silmaril, um, basically when we have to run out of here, I think what ends up happening is that on every floor that we're on, we'll get like way more monsters trying to hunt us down than normal. So the second Silmaril makes your life very hard. The third Silmaril gives you this curse where uh, for every skill check you have to make, it doesn't matter what it is, I think, you'll roll twice and take the lower of the rolls. So if your stats are super high, this is not like incredibly bad, but it's, it makes things difficult, especially for people who rely on staying out of sight. Um, if you have twice as many chances to fail your cell check kind of thing, uh, that can be bad for you, so. But first things first, this might be difficult for us. Let's try singing sharpness. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay, never mind. It sucks. Okay, we got it. So now what's gonna happen? Well, first what's gonna happen is I'm gonna use this Silmaril because it's awesome. I'm going to drop these lamps. Whoa, why is Gothmog running away? Okay, I'm just going to run away for a bit. I want to make sure nobody's keeping an eye on me. So the next thing I might do... Um... Here, I'll show you in a sec. I'm gonna grab one of these things. Great sword, bastard sword, great sword, sure, I'll take this. Oh, sweet. That is so awesome. Did he, did the captain drop that? And that's Morgoth's hammer, which is awesome. Oh, I forgot Morgoth would have jumped a bunch of stuff. None of it was all that great, though. But I want to go get Anglical, or whatever that's called. Where's my... Great, so let's drop that. Let's wield the spear. Okay, let's say it again. Anglical is uh, one of two like twin swords that is also sharp. But I want to get rid of it as soon as I can, because it draws dangerous monsters to this level. Where's Morgoth's going? Actually, I should use Nurgle for this. Okay, so the first time, I think the first time you succeed in getting a Silmaril, the first time you succeed in cutting out the second Silmaril, like in the story, your whatever you're using breaks. So I just gave away this dagger of Nurgle because it's crappy, and it also wakes up everything around you apparently, which I did not know. So I'm gonna get the F out of here. This is so much easier because Gorthar's not here, or if he's here, he's staying hidden because that guy makes it way harder to do this. Oh, I'm still singing. Uh, take a little nap. Where's Anglico? So now you don't have to worry about any of your weapons breaking again. Yeah. I bet you wish you hadn't noticed me there, buddy, don't you? I'm gonna suck down a potion of strength. Actually, maybe I should just do this with two hands. Got 
got it. Got it. Okay. And again, everybody wakes up, which... Oh, it looks like that Adam and Serpent is up for blood. I actually love it when they just kill everything for me. It's awesome. Okay. So that's that, guys. We got all the Silmarils that we need. Or all of them, in general. I'm going to put Hador back on. I guess I'll keep... No, I don't want Anglico. It makes my life harder. And... Sure. Oh, I don't need more light anymore. I'm going to put on uh, Amrod. Because the Silmaril gives you 7 light radius. That's a bit insane. So I'm going to go back around. Not to be cocky or anything, but we still haven't gotten hit. This is a bit ridiculous. That's a lot of trolls. See, now all these guys are up here because they're pissed. Well, I guess I didn't even need to come this way. Shite. What's down here? Some potions, sure, I'll take those. Uh, this elemental resistance thing, I don't care about. Ugh! <laughs> Poor Hitherco had noticed me, but now it's buried in rubble. Um, sure. Troll still coming? You think if you saw the door slam in his face, you would understand what was happening? But uh. sure. Drop the chest. Multiple traps, eh? Gloves of dexterity. Gauntlets. Gauntlets. Okay, that isn't going for sure. Good stuff. Okay, this part is my probably my least favorite part. This whole room is packed full of cats. Um, and it's the only way out. So, I don't even know what to pump anymore. Let's get some oil here. Good. Nice. So far, so good.
I don't know how I made that shot. I'm shooting around corners. Okay, that's it. They're all dead. Ugh. Are you serious? Alright guys, that's it. We are out of here. So that's the throne room. As an archer, you can see. So there, there are two things that made this easier for us. Stealth is like, for me, the number one requirement to survive down here. Um, a lot of people have finished the game with, you know, zero stealth characters basically, but what happens then is the whole throne room just breathes down your throat. You have to kill everything. I have no idea how you do that, so. I mean, I've come close a couple of times with, with characters who are really strong melee-wise, but there was a lot of luck involved. Whereas here, I feel like it's pretty easy to to maneuver yourself into a safe position. I'm guessing that once this video hits the internet, if the creators of the game see what I did here, they'll try to make this back passage a bit more dangerous because it really, this is safe haven over here. Um, if you have Vanish and you run back here, I mean, you're trapped, that's true, but it's just... It seems like I can always run there, and nothing can really challenge me once I do that. They'll just stand out here like idiots, and clearly they know this is here. Well, at least Morgoth did before I killed them. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe if these were, like, secret doors, and I think there's, like, really nasty monsters in here, and there's, like, the potential danger for them to spill out, that might make it more interesting, I don't know. But, anyhow. Uh, but the other thing that made things super easy is archery, because we don't have to get anything close. Like, Morgoth is super hard to kill hand-to-hand. -hand. And even with an archer, you saw he regenerates really fast. So unless, without like a bunch of potions of quickness or this perma speed, he would have been very hard to kill anyway. So anyhow, that's that. Um, in the next video, we will probably run most, if not all, of the ascent, which takes a really long time, uh, and it's really tedious. This is I think I've said this before. This is my least favorite part of the game, not because it's hard, but especially with those stabs of revelations. All you're trying to do is find the upstairs. It's not like we want to explore at this point. So you're really just exploring rooms until you, you're lucky enough to find an upstair. And hoping to God that nothing sees you. Um, if you don't kill Morgoth, he actually will follow you around. So he'll show up on all the floors on the way up. Um, but we killed him, so we don't need to worry about him, just his cronies. So yeah, thanks for, uh, for watching. I hope your first encounter of the throne room was exciting for you. And I will see you guys next time.